Hi, welcome back to my channel. And this is Mandy from Mew Art Studio in Scotland. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to share everything about um, uh, how to paint a silk scarf and turn it into a product and start your business. Today's video will focus on the packaging, branding, and not so much about the painting. I have put subtitle in the video. In the parts with red and stars, you can take notes of those because these are supplies and brands or some like important tips. Um, so this, this is a three day process for a hand painting silk scarf. In the day one, it's about painting. And then the day two, where uh, the process is steaming and uh, the day three, it's packaging and post. I will explain in the video with more details if needed. And I hope this video will help you if you are preparing to start your silk painting as a business. Okay, let's start by the day one, the painting process. Because I have a small studio and I'm doing silk painting and oil painting, all in my studio so everything in my studio either have wheels or they can uh, be easily moved around or they are foldable so when I don't need them need them I can tuck them away As you can see the frame, uh, I have recorded a different video, just haven't got the time to edit in it. This frame, uh, I designed it with uh, the help of the local tool shop. So I also put LED light along them. It's very helpful when I need to trace the design. I use this drawing board uh, to do my digital designs and print them out. I kind of like tracing there, but I kind of not because um, th there's a gap between the top, the silk and the table surface, which, which with the design is about this. It's about over 10 centimeters. So you can't really trace it. And also I don't uh, think trace is a good idea. So I kind of using the draft, the design as, um, uh, as a guidance so I just draw I just follow those so I have a rough idea where the every part and that, but I don't trace every line because if you try to trace all the line on your design the, the the painting end up looking very unnatural for a complicated uh, good outline design like this we want to make it look natural and we we need to look miss this long line is very continuous and when I'm doing the coloring I am uh, I, I, f I flip it over if you flip it over you don't want to touch the surface because if you touch the surface then that will make the gutta outline dirty because the surface will some of the color will sit on top so whenever I uh, paint uh, my silk and the surface is always at least like this much um, gap. So under the daylight, I have a better look of the color and just to check if uh, it's at all the colors right in the right place or if I need to dock them. Because with the LED light, it's um, lighter. It, it makes the color looks brighter. And when I finish, I turn it over and we can see all the gutta outlines still very clean and haven't got the adding uh, blue on it.
And now the day two. After I finished painting the scarf, I put it away, uh, left it for overnight just to let the color set extra. The next morning, I remove them from the frame. I get them ready for steam to fix the color. It's three hours in minimum. I like to cover my actual row one with uh, tin foil to make sure no water going in there. If the water, if it get wet before the color set, it will make a mess or marks, the water marks on the silk scarf. If it get wet before the color set, um, it will kind of ruin the picture. You either need to fix those problems or paint another one. But either way, you need to steam them again for three hours. So I just want to make sure it's no water, no water gonna get in there. But even then, still not 100%, um, not, it's really not, no guarantee, not 100%. Nobody knows what the steam and the silk going to do in the tube. <laughs> Once they're there, it's, not, it's out of our control. What we can control is just um, do our best before we put it in there. I never got a professional steamer. I kind of built this one myself. I just use it. It doesn't look perfect, but it's not about the look, right? It's about uh, how it works. So now it's ready. I'm taking it out. I didn't take out straight away because when it's just finished, uh, it was really hot. So I waited for a little bit. It looks wet now, the tube, but it doesn't matter because uh, those those will get wet um, with after the color set it. I never know when they start to get wet, but, but I know I noticed that if I didn't take them out straight away, and then the paper always get wet. But if I took them out straight away, the paper sometimes wet, sometimes not. It really depends. So after the steam, the color become very smooth and the, they blend it very well together. I just uh, hand them behind my door. That is where I took photos for my product. Day three, I put the scarf under running water really need to need to make sure it's cold water if you you uh, if you use warm water the color will come off so i didn't use any soap or anything i just run it under the uh, tap water until the water is clean I was, and so i want to explain a bit more about when it's ironing As you can see, I just open the scarf very carefully and then just never squeeze your scarf very, very hard because I tried that before and now what I noticed after I, uh, after I squeeze all the water out, but I also kind of uh, damage the silk, the fabric a bit. You can, uh, and after, after it's damaged, you can use it, but um, if you're going to sell them, you want to keep them in the perfect condition. So uh, just open them, flat them, and then use the towel to pat the towel on top to absorb the water. That is the best way I found how to dry um, the silk scarf. With my five years experience, this, yeah, this is the best way, I think. I don't know how other people do it, but this is the best way, guaranteeing the silk scarf is not going to be damaged, and then we can iron it easy enough. 
I also tried to dry the silk scarf、um, natural with wind in the in in or on the hanger, but but this is the best way because、um, when it's dried and you you try to iron it and then sometimes you don't get rid of the、uh, crisps crisps I don't know crisps. <laughs> Yeah, make sure we iron the opposite. No, make sure we iron the back. Make sure we iron in the back. What is the back? It's、uh, without the gutta line. The like is <laughs> what is the back? I think you can tell when the gutta outline is not the golden. Um, one side the the gutta outline is very shiny and golden, and the another side is less shiny and golden. And we iron that less shiny and golden side. And then if you don't, if your silk scarf is very thin, I think he,、uh, the best way is to put some very thin fabric, like a cushion cover or a thin cotton sheet on top of the. Gutta outline, because、um, the gutta outline is kind of it's kind of a glue. I don't know a resist. So when when the heat is too high, or after the wash, you might、uh, risk to take them off, and、uh, that's what it is. It need to. It's very fragile. You need to protect it with care. So now it's finished. Now it's nice and soft. It's beautiful. You see the fabric, like the reflect of the lights. I just love it. Yeah, the light, the light looks so good. So now, what I'm gonna do next? Okay, I'm going to package in it, branding and packaging here. Uh, can't see that. That's its a corner cutter to, cause、uh, I'm just using A4 car a、uh, cardboard a、uh, thicker paper and then cut them in small size. So I I use a cor a round corner cutter to make the 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 corners, get rid of the corners, make it look a bit smooth and nice. And make a hole in the middle. Not in the middle, on the top. When we when when we talk about the product、um, design, it's、um, it's not like、um, when we talk about product design, it's very much like we're talking about the customer experience. So when when we buy something very nice and the、uh, That a lot of care. People pack it with care and with uh um, they take their time to make the to present that product. We can feel it. And then when customer hold it in hand, they will not like if you think about when you buy something nice sometimes and you just feel comfortable. Everything is right, and then you don't overthink because when we're a customer, we don't really think that much. But what? But then we don't um. But we do feel the the actual. Uh, what's that? The extra work people put in, the effort. I mean, we do we do feel the effort like the seller puts in there. So that I think this um is important um to 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 present your when it's a product. The details are very important. Even you know the customer not notice those. But when we do it, it's there, and then also the branding thing is not a one day, two day, one time. Just with time, you will develop how to do it. I use a lot of stickers, but every of my stickers are with my logo on it, and then inside I have a thank you card, and I have a, a suit care instruction, and a receipt, and I also have my my brochure there. In the brochure, I have my other products and myself introduction of my studio. So when we're branding things, we just like、uh, again, it's not just like one time. You you just need to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. 
until like you believe it, and then you really know you believe what are you trying to sell. It's not just a silk scarf. It's like、uh, your work, and it's your thought. It's whatever you learn in life, and then you just put them in your products. It's just like、uh, your products, especially when it's handmade craft. It's really very much represent you. So in on my package, I have um, I have my sticker uh. Like uh, to say it's the dream about the dreams about the sky make wings want to fly. That is my value of um, of uh, uh this studio. And at the back, I also uh because I use the um, I I I use I reuse those uh, um craft paper which I used for steam, uh for steam the scarves. Um,、uh, I think it's better to recycle and use it again. So, but I do not want my customer to think I'm just using any piece of old paper. So I made a sticker to say, to explain that. Actually, I'm gonna maybe I can show you that. Um, this is my sticker book. Um, all all the stick I need to use is that. So, so here. So, as so on on this day, this one is not. I don't have my logo on there, but just a little bit to show that how I care means my studio and myself. I care about the environment. So that this, but uh, so that's why I reuse that、uh, craft paper which I use for steam the scarf. I said the paper used for packaging is recycled from the scarf making process. So in that way. I can um um manage to care about our earth. I think that's important to explain things like that, and it's also important to keep our planet, uh, green. That's that's it. Um. So uh, I hope the tips are useful for you in this video. Uh, if you have more questions, then just email me or leave the leave the comments. I really hope you. Be able to start your business and、uh, to do things you love for a living. Okay, so bye for now and see you until the next time. Bye.